Hi, my name is John Dreesen with the Montana Department of Natural Resources Urban Forestry Program. And this is a short how-to for getting started with ArcGIS Online to help manage your community's urban tree inventory. To begin, go ahead and open a web browser. Anyone will do. Uh, type in www.arcgis.com. That's arcgis.com. Go ahead and click sign in in the upper right. Now most of you won't have an account already, so you'll need to create one. And at the bottom of the screen, click Create a Public Account. Go ahead and fill out the supplemental information. Um, once you do so and review and uh, accept the terms of use, and uh, go ahead and click Create My Account. Once you do this, you'll receive an email in your inbox uh, with, with a web link. You'll need to confirm your account and you're ready to get started. If you're not signed in already, go back to arcgis.com and go ahead and click sign in. Now go ahead and enter your username and your password and click sign in. Now if you're not signed in already, uh, You'll need to have gone in and signed in. I believe we just covered that. Um, you'll need to search for the Montana DNRC group page. Uh, so go ahead in the search engine, type in DNRC uh, Urban uh, or DNRC Urban Inventory, anything of that variety. And at the drop down menu, click Search for Groups. Go ahead and click on the link on the title and click join this group. It's sort of like the Facebook of mapping. Uh, go ahead and submit the request. Uh, don't worry, I'll friend you. Uh, it might take me a day or two because I'm out in the field. Um, at which time, uh, if you are in a rush, go ahead and call our office. You can speak with Dan Rogers or Jamie Kirby uh, or myself, John Dreesen, um, and we'll put a rush on this. All right, so I'm gonna sign myself out. I'm gonna sign in with my administrative account. Um, this will operate just like yours. Now let's pretend that you're already approved. You're gonna go ahead and click on groups. Same as you did before, click on the link on the title. And now you're going to see uh, the variety of web mapping applications we've developed for several of the towns across Montana where we have done inventories. All right, so for now we're going to pretend that we are Fort Benton. Go ahead and click on the title, or you can click open, whichever. Um, you can open this in one of three ways, uh, using ArcGIS Map Viewer uh, and ArcGIS Explorer Online, which will open in your web browser. Um, you can play with both. Uh, if you have a preference, use one or the other. If you have ArcGIS uh, for desktop, um, which is normally something you need to pay for, um, it's quite expensive for governments, uh, you can go ahead and open it in that if you prefer. Um, but we do recommend using your web browser. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open in Map Viewer. All right, so each one of these symbols uh, represents a tree which was inventoried in the public right of way or near in Fort Benton. Um, as you can see here, uh, you can go ahead and click on one of those. Um, the way I've set this up for now uh, is with the maintenance task and the address in the title. Um, these are things which are, which are just in the fields in the pop-up window or attribute table. Um, as GIS eggheads call it. Um, so we can see that we have a tree with immediate concern uh, at 1110 13th Street. Um, all right, let's say I wanna edit this information because I've done or completed the work on this tree. Um, so we can go in. Um, 
say uh, we took care of those hangers that were in there, uh, about to fall in somebody's car perhaps. Um, we can put none um, or maybe large tree routine if we want to come back and take a peek at it later. Um, make sure it's doing okay. Um, here are the maintenance tasks, etc. Um, each one of these fields does have a drop down window. Um, it can change the condition of the wood um, to good or whatever, uh, depending on the work that was completed. Um, all right. So let's go back to the details page. Now let's say we want to take a look at all of our trees in the attribute table. Uh, go ahead and click on the Fort Bend Urban Tree uh, layer or your communities. Um, obviously click show table. And there we have it. Um, on the bottom we have a spreadsheet with all of the uh, trees inventoried. Now let's say I want to look at this little honey locust that has, has some immediate concerns. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. If you don't already see it in this window, um, you can go over to the table options drop down menu on the right hand side, click center on selection, and there we have it. It's located along the river and you can go ahead, edit that, um, whatever you like. I'm going to go ahead and close this window. There's a spreadsheet. Now, let's say I want to actually go through and sort out, according to maintenance, uh, or some other attribute, um, the trees which are viewable in this map. I strongly suggest doing this um, and dealing with those trees which are of critical concern uh, first and then moving down the list uh, to immediate concern, etc. Uh, so go ahead, uh, click on the first drop down menu and go to maintenance needed. Maintenance is of critical concern or public safety and apply the filter. Now we have 10 features selected or 10 features uh, within this list. And these are also viewable in the table below if we still have that open. Um, from here, it's a great idea to go ahead and print this out uh, we have the print function up here. Uh, if you'd like to make this map a little bit easier to read, um, sometimes these aerial photos get a little busy. So go ahead and click base map. This may take a few seconds. And go ahead and select one of these other maps to your liking. Um, OpenStreetMap uh, is fairly good. Um, it is open source, so um, there are a lot of collaborators. Um, there's also some inf misinformation. Um, but you can go ahead and take this and click print. This will take a few moments to populate. It does take a little longer sometimes. Um, so here we have it. You can go ahead and go ahead and click print. You can right click or control P print to your copier. Hand that off to your maintenance guy or take it out in the field yourself and take care of business. All right, uh, here you, if you do have some new plantings, um, sorry, we should go in and go ahead and clear this filter. Otherwise we won't be able to see the rest of our trees. Remove filter. Um, if you do have some new plantings or a new planning project which, you, which you've conducted, uh, you can click edit, scroll down, click on your layer, and you can go ahead and plot the trees uh, filling out the attribute information as you choose. Um, that's it for the web application. Um, we really do um, enjoy using our smartphone devices or tablets. Um, thankfully, ArcGIS has put together a web application, or sorry, um, uh, an iOS application, an Android application called Arc Mobile. Uh, so go ahead and uh, log into your uh, phone, your iPad, whatever. Uh, go to the App Store and search for ESRI or Arc Mobile and download that. Uh, you will be prompted to log in. Um, you'll be able to see the exact same things you saw in the web browser, um, but it is a little more spatially aware. Uh, you'll have a blinking dot uh, where you are in relation to all of these trees. 
um, and you can make the edits from there which will bounce back to our server and be stored permanently. Thanks for watching.